All right, what's going on, YouTube? It's Outback Guru here back on the Madden 15 Ultimate Team. Here we go, a brand new season. I lost three in a row yesterday. I was just, like, rushing to get these games done for whatever reason. Didn't make the playoffs, but I did avoid getting demoted, so I have still yet not to be uh, demoted. So, here we go. As you see, a completion on my opponent's first drive. So he's got second and ten. He has Andrew Luck at quarterback and a looks like a Jamal Charles in the backfield at running back. Second and ten goes over the middle as he hits Jamal Charles for a first down coming out of the backfield on an angle route. So we got second and seven. So here we go. Not too many new changes on offense or defense. But Trying to get this Super Bowl. I haven't been to a Super Bowl in like the last two or three seasons. So trying to get back to the Super Bowl. Luck drops back as Jadavion Clowney comes in untouched. That's the rising star Clowney. I highly recommend you doing that set. So here we go. Third and seven. Huge third down situation for my opponent. As Clowney comes in again. This time he closes in for the sack. For a huge loss. So it is now fourth and sixteen. And, of course, he's going to go for it. Nobody punts in online football. Draws back. Throws it short of the first down mark anyway, but it is incomplete, and he is injured in the process. So that gives us great field position, first and 10 on the 14-yard line. Luck goes play action. Flushed out of the pocket as he hits Demarius Thomas on the right sideline, who gets the catch and is ruled inbounds. So, after that play, we got first and goal on the two. McCoy punches it in from two yards out. That put us up 7-0. So, here we go, first and 10. He goes to Jamal Charles. Clowney and Eric Berry on the collaboration for the stop. Loss of four. So, one play later, we're taking the third and 14. Huge third down as he converts to looks like Percy Harvin. As we hit him down low, but he holds on to the ball first down. Huge conversion by my opponent. So, first and ten, Luck goes to the flats to Reggie Wayne for a nice gain of nine. And as, as that play would end, play in the first quarter, we get another second quarter. He goes back to the flat this time to his running back, Le'Veon Bell. Well, he's hitting, he's attacking the flats right now, not throwing anything over the middle. So here we go, first and 10. Luck drops back. It's a nice little screen pass, but Cromarty is there to meet him for a loss of one. A couple plays later, we got first and 10 as he tries to go counter. But Wagner meets him in the backfield for a loss of three. So that'll bring us to second and 13 after the two minute warning. Hands it off to Charles. Makes a few cuts as he's all to the races for a touchdown. So Jamal Charles will tie the game up all at 7 all. So here we go, first and 10, next possession. Luck goes play action, sends a man in motion. Looks, tries to hit his receiver on the right side, but Luke Keekley is there on the interception. So a costly turnover by Andrew Luck in the offense, giving my opponent great field position at the 32-yard line. Let's see if he can convert. He drops back with luck. As Joe Hayden steps in front of the pass, he was waiting. Waiting. Hayden. <laughs> that sounds like it rhymes. But look, Andrew Luck, he's staying with me. As I was cutting in and out, he strafed all the way downfield with me for a defender to catch me from behind. But nonetheless, we get the turnover. So, second and 10 after one play. Trying to hit the scene, but Luke Keekley gets me again. I should know better. I was doing that same thing to people last year in Madden 25. So we're just giving the ball back right to each other. 50 seconds left in his first half. Second and 10, he goes back to the run game as Cromartie meets him first as Thomas Davis finishes off the play for a loss of five. So we go third and 15 with 22 seconds remaining as Joe Hayden almost gets his second pick of the game as he drops it. So my opponent punted. I got 10 seconds left in this uh, half. I tried to catch him off guard with the run, and I burned my timeout. 
So I said, I'm just going to go ahead and take my three points. I got uh, Justin Tucker, who has one of the stronger legs in Mutt this year. As I go into the half with a three-point lead. And I do receive the ball at half. So here we go, first and 10 at the 16-yard line. Not too much has happened yet in this ball game. Luck tries to lob it up to Demarius Thomas, but threw it in the triple coverage as it was well played by my opponent. And bring up second and 10. Luck drops back the pass. He's looking. He's looking deep for Julio Jones. Like he had a step. But his corner gets his hand up at the last minute to force the deflection. So we got third and 10. Luck draws back the pass. Scrambling. Doesn't see anybody as he throws it right to ha ha. Clint Dix. Not like he just threw it straight to him. So yet another interception by Luck. As my opponent comes out after the turnover. As he gets a nice little gain up the middle. So we got third and one right here. Luck drops back. Gets a receiver on the left side as Eric Bear brings him down. So he's slowly creeping in my territory. He's on the 10-yard line looking for points. Goes read option. This time the Sproles as Thomas Davis meets him in the backfield for a gain of one. So now he's running a little no huddle. As you see, he's on the 7-yard line. Pushes it right up the middle with Jamal Charles as he gets decked by Hunting Badger. But he's in the end zone anyway. He holds on after the big hit. So we're now down four points as Luck squeezes it in to Demarius Thomas some kind of way. All the way down to the 44-yard line as that would end play in the third quarter. So now we're in the fourth quarter here, second and six. Luck is going to drop back the pass. Hits Cordero Patterson on the drag route for a first down. So I need a touchdown. A field goal won't cut it in this situation. First and 10 on the 42, Luck is looking, has all day to throw. As he see two receivers going over the middle as McCoy comes up with it. Nice play out of the backfield by McCoy as he broke off his route. That'll take us to the two-minute warning. Second and goal, Luck is going to hit his tight end, Jared Cook, on a little curl route to put us up three points, 17-14. A minute and 40 left in this ball game. So here he goes, back on offense. Goes back to the flat yet again. It's been working for him. Gets another first down. So with one play, he's at the 45-yard line. He's going to run some no huddle. Calls a couple of audibles. He looks. He steps back as Antonio Cromartie comes up with the clutch interception. Look like I might have had something here, but Patterson catches me from behind. So a huge turnover by my defense. As we come out, first and 10 on the 40, looking to put the icing on the cake. I go play action. Luck is looking. Hits his tight end yet again, Jared Cook, who gets away from one defender, but is finally brought down at 35. So here we go. Cue the music. First and 10. Andrew Luck goes read option. They converge on the ball carry as he pulls it down and he's going to take it all the way to the house for the go-ahead touchdown as Andrew Luck redeems himself after those picks from earlier in the game. Puts us up 10 points with 53 seconds left in this game. He comes back right back out on offense. Andrew Luck throws an interception this time. Thomas Davis comes down with it and that's pretty much going to clinch this game as we walk away with a 10-point victory. Andrew Luck with an impressive showing after throwing those first early interceptions. So that'll put us at 1-0 and on this young season. So this is Outback Guru signing out. I have some more Ultimate Team gameplay up for you guys later. Peace.